And we're doing some damage. Here we go. We're in the forefront of the war. Come on, men. Get into the battle. Don't tell him to charge. <laughs> Why not? I want to go around and do some damage myself. Let's get our men to follow us again. Oh my god, we have people flanking from behind us. That's not good at all. Let's see if we can take them out here. Welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. As you can see, there's a huge battle about to break out. And we're going to be doing a rather tactical decision here. Because I'm going to be showing you how you can become a vessel of someone else's faction. Now I have a 100 IQ play for you guys today. Because as you guys know, my plan in this playthrough is to be making our own kingdom. Our own personal kingdom. And then we're going to take over the whole map on our own. However, to make our own kingdom, we actually need to own some land. So you can yourself, if you like, for example, try and take a castle that has a small amount of defenders. For example, this castle only has 160 defenders. That's not too many. We could potentially take it if we were very clever about it. However, we're then going to be at war with all the other factions. So what I suggest doing instead is leveling up to clan level 2, which you can see in the menu here. At the moment, I'm almost clan level 2, and I'll teach you how to get there in a moment. And then after you've done that, you can come and talk to one of these nobles, one of the leaders of a faction, and you can ask them if you can become their vessel, which we'll be doing in this episode anyway. And once you've done that, they'll actually reward you and gift you either some towns, like a local town, or even a castle if you're quite renowned already. If you join them in battle and join their large armies, these two big armies are about to battle, and you take a castle with them, then what you can do is actually ask for the castle and vote that you get the castle. So you can obtain lots of castles very quickly, and then you can leave their service and you can actually choose to keep all of your land and castles for yourself. And then you'll have your own kingdom and lots of castles that you own, already own under your clan name. It is a very dirty tactic, but it works very well. You just have to be prepared that you're going to be at war with a faction you previously sided with. So let's go into detail about the situation right here in front of us. We have some Sturgeon troops and some Valadian troops as well. And you can see there are... 540 Vladian troops and there are four, 505 Sturgeon troops. I have a party of 42 however. Now before I make a decision on what faction I want to join I'm going to look at the encyclopedia here and I'm going to look at the and if I go to kingdoms and then I have a look at the Sturgeon Empire whose leader is Ragnvad. If you click on him you can see he's actually closed fisted which means he has minus one to his generosity he's also devious and cruel and he is daring as his positive trait but because he's closed fisted this means that he'll probably be taking all the castles for himself so he's very unlikely to give you a castle or at least less likely than if we instead have a look at the valadia faction dearth hurt and you can see he's actually merciful and cautious so he he doesn't have the generous trait but if you have a faction leader that has the generous trait and you choose to become their vessel then you have more of a chance of them giving you a castle now as you guys can see we are seven renown away from clan level two so we're very close there's lots of ways you can get renown in the game like killing bandits or winning tournaments or also a really good way of getting renown is to join someone's army and then battle with them. So what we're going to do is walk up to Hecard just here. And try and join his army before this great battle. Hello there. So what is it then? Uh, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Go on. I would like to enter the services of King Dethert. And how may you serve us? My sword is yours for the right sum. And then we can pledge our allegiance as Dethert's vassal later on. But for now, let's just offer him our sword as a mercenary. Yes, we do hire mercenaries, and some of them, I'll admit, are men of honour. Your reward will be 10 gold for every group of enemies you vanquish, or for the equivalent deed. Now that is so small. 
I've been offered 25 to 30 gold before. So I'm going to say that's lower than I expect. Do think about it. Make sure you're not end on the losing side. Oh, that's annoying. Do you know what? We're going to accept just because I'm going to stab him in the back anyway. So let's suck it in and say, you know what? We'll enter your service. Good. I'll have the men write up a simple contract on behalf of the Kingdom of Valadia. I welcome you. May you put your sword to good use against our enemies. You can count on me. As of now, your enemies are my enemies and your honour is my honour. So we're now at war with the Sturgeons. We're going to say, I want to join your army. Very well, follow us. So we are currently attacking this enemy here. We outnumber them. They are going to have backup on the way, but by the time they get there, I think they'll all be dead. We can send our troops or we can attack ourselves. Obviously, we're going to attack. We have 611 men to their 405. So this is going to be a sick battle, brothers. I'm excited. This is the biggest war we've done so far. But, and because he's so generous, he's given us some formations to lead. So we can choose to lead the archers or no formation. I mean, obviously, I'm going to choose to lead the archers um, for sure, because that's going to get us even more renown. Heckard is actually leading this, though. Okay, so these are the archers right here. Let's go ahead and say, After follow me. me. Can't see the enemy up ahead yet, but oh my god, look at how huge this battle is. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We kind of want to get up on that hill just there. Um, and then we're going to tell our men to take fire. So let's Life tell them formation. to get in a line just here. What are you doing, mate? Get wrecked. Take them out. Yeah! Follow me! Come on, crossbowmen. We want to be up on this hill, and then, I mean, we can shoot people from a distance and be pretty safe. Look at that army. Dude, that looks so cool. What is that random Sturgeon scout doing right there? I'm an idiot. Let's try and um, cover up the flank here. And then I will charge in later and tell the uh, crossbowmen to stay where they are. Skirmish in front of Ally Center Infantry. Okay. He's actually given us commands. I'll do what he says. Get my money to follow us. Since he wants us in the center, we'll just do what he says. So you can see the enemy's army over there. The AI is quite smart. They've taken a strong position on the front. So if we just sit on top of this hill here, we should be able to um, quite easily take some of these men out. Skirmish. What do you want me to do? Skirmish. I want to leave my men on this hill. They're doing a great job there. Look at that. We're getting kills. Right, I'm going to run around the back here. Let's tell them to F6 stop. And we're going to run. Oh my god, they're already running away. Look at that. Those absolute wussers. Let's take them all down here. Rex up. You're dead. You're dead. Come back here. <laughs> Free kills for me. Free experience, brothers. I don't think my army leaving skills are very good, but um, I'm glad we got to take part. There's more men fleeing from the battle here, but don't worry. I am the defense. We won't let them leave. Get out of my way. I'm killing them. They don't know which way to run. Look at them. They're in panic. You're dead. I reckon I've probably racked up the most kills here. I don't know how my archers did, but I told them to charge in, so I'm sure they're doing fine, really. We're just mopping up right now. I think I did nine damage to someone's horse. Our army was a lot more prepared than they were. There we go. We have won the battle, brothers. Easy. As, so as you can see, we gained 2.4 renown from that battle, which is double what we usually get. We also got 2.3 influence, 
with the people that we're going to be getting castles from. And we got 1.7 morale. So let's have a look here at how my party did. Danny's party. Okay, we actually killed quite a few people. A couple of men were wounded. Nobody died. However, I got 11 kills, which is really good. Essentially what happens in big battles like this is everyone gets categorized into if they're an archer, if they are an infantry unit or what, and then the commanders will designate who gets to control what. So you won't necessarily get to control your own party because you've offered yourself as a mercenary. Your help was most welcome, stranger. My name is Fernhard. Can I learn yours? My name is Danny. Well met, Danny. I am in your debt for what you just did. One day I will find a way to repay it. Very good, very good. So now what we need to do, you are at my mercy. Wait, I, oh my god, I, I get to take Uruk prisoner. You are my prisoner now. I am at your mercy. Indeed you are. Uruk is uh, one of the, the other nobles. And we do want to recruit the Sturgeon veteran warriors into our service eventually. So we're not even going to sell them. We're going to keep them. And as you guys can see, Uruk is here. You can decide to execute the enemy if you like. However... I don't know if I want to do that yet because we could potentially ransom him for a lot of money. So I'm going to check how much he's worth first. Uh, we have 52,000 gold right now. And now we have the spoils of war, as you guys can see. We have a lot of things to choose from. We get our share from the battle. Um, this large round shield, for example, is really good. There's also a northern cavalry kite shield. And we can speed up the game because it looks like we are running up to another battle here. Uh, if we can, we're trying to kite him around. <laughs> He's running for his life. Look at that. The whole enemy army. Oh, okay, okay. So, this is a big skirmish going on now. We're just trying to prepare ourselves by the looks of it. But there's another big army over here. And we are in Sturgeon territory. We're really getting into the mountains now. And in between this pass, this army's been hiding. So, let's go ahead and play and see if we can catch up this army. We definitely want to be engaging it. Now, Sturgeons do have a movement speed bonus moving through snow, but it looks like we've trapped them between our castle and the tree line here. So let's go ahead and attack. I don't know if it'll give us more troops to command because I don't think we did a very good job last time. Oh no, we get the archers again. Do you know what? I'll take it. Our plan is to attack with full force around our infantry, okay? Well, let's tell everyone to follow, follow me. Then. And we're going to keep up with the infantry here. Look at this. We have an even bigger army. We've got cavalry on the left flank there. And night is about to fall. It's snowing heavily. Let's um, skirmish in front of the army this time. Because that's what he told us to do. We can see the other men in the distance over there. Don't know. Oh, I hit that. <laughs> I did one damage. Haha. <laughs> First hit of the fight. Fantastic. Let's try and get on the uh, bridge just here. See if we can uh, fire some pop shots at the enemy. He wants me to skirmish behind them, but I'm just going to sit at this bridge here and tell uh, my men to, to wait. Oh, God, I don't want to go down here. I want to just shoot the enemy from here, really. Pretty easily. I think we're going to be destroying them here. Look at that. Wow, they're already retreating. Right, let's get our men to charge them. Excuse me. Charge! I'm trying to run down these uh, these men here. Stay behind reserve. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to do whatever I want, mate. I don't know if they actually care if you disobey their commands, but I know how to get killed. They're fleeing, as you can see. Now he's telling me to charge. You see, I'm one step ahead of you, brother. I think we're almost done in wiping them all out. Okay, look, there are a few men running here. Charge, brothers! Yes! We have killed them all! And obviously, if you find the king, for example, and you kill him and he's got a good sword, you can actually pick that up because it'll probably be better than your own. Look at this beautiful landscape. Oh, mate, men scattered everywhere. He wants me to wait now. I'm sorry. He keeps telling me what to do. It's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> okay, let's see who killed the most once again. Okay, let's have a look here. See, I got 18 kills. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Only no one was wounded or injured. I got 13 kills. Look how much we leveled up our skills. How we leveled up our tactics, too. 
Oh man, that's fantastic. You turned up just in time, Danny. I will not forget your help. I wonder how much of a relationship we have with them right now. We can actually take some of these guys prisoner as well. We're almost capped on our prisoners. However, we could recruit this sturgeon hunter into our party, making it a little bit stronger, which is nice. Um, and we have a bunch of horses uh, for the taking here. Are these horses better than mine? No, but I can give them to my party and it's going to improve the speed I can go at. So let's have a look what's happened here. We've, we've got everyone fleeing and we're rather strong right now. So I'm actually going to carry on with the army here. As you can see, we are very close to clan level 2, so that's fantastic. We now have relationship 2 with Alderic, pretty much plus 1 for every time we've helped him out, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's carry on with his army here. Um, we're getting money from these battles, so it's pretty decent. So, oh, are we going to be laying siege to the castle? Because that would be beautiful if we are. Okay, we're laying siege. Okay, so this is the first siege of the Let's Play fantastic now if we had a little bit more renown we would probably actually be able to potentially put in a bid for this castle but for now we don't so we're not going to be able to do that the building of the siege camp is based on your engineer skill oh okay someone's come over to bolster our forces we've got the defenses down so now it's going to be hard for people to actually attack us out of the castle okay so we just stopped the siege for some reason which is kind of annoying but it looks like we're chasing down some people now. There is a lot of people around us. A lot of small units of troops. Maybe that's why we stopped the siege. It got a bit outnumbered here. Full back. Okay. We've got loads of people skirmishing around us. Oh, it looks like we're in a big battle here. With several nobles. However, we still outnumber them slightly. But these people are well geared. And there's a lot of nobles probably bring in their guards and whatnot so we're gonna have to tip the tip the battle in our favor here i will obviously take control of these archers of course cavalry is right flank and left flank okay great skirmish in front all right so let's skirmish in front for now stay close just want to check over this hill i don't think the enemy is going to be here already you can see the other commander up there, like, uh, trying to get ahead. Uh, but if we can take this hill and just literally camp it here. Oh, did I just take a hit from something? That's weird. I didn't know. So we've got the enemy horsemen over here, but I kind of want to sit on top of this hill if I can. He keeps telling me to skirmish, and I'm like, well, yeah, I'm playing the game, mate. You know, what do you want me to do? I can't see the enemy. There's so many trees, it's actually kind of dis disconcerting, you know? As long as I'm on a, a high hill here, it's probably pretty good. Cavalry is charging the enemy formation. Okay. This forest is so thick, man. I have no... Like, there is half an army hiding in this forest, okay? Where are they? <laughs> Big battles in the forest is not the one. Okay, there they are. There they are. Fantastic. All right, then. Now we can see them. Center front of the infantry. Oh, that's where I am. We're good. Let's try and lay a few pot shots here. They have got their shields up, but I'm trying to get... Get behind the ally infantry. Yeah, okay, I'm behind them now. We're doing some damage. Here we go. We're in the forefront of the war. Come on, men. Get into the battle. Can tell him to charge. <laughs> Why not? I want to go around and do some damage myself. Sorry if the FPS is bad, guys. The game's not very optimized at the moment. Goodness me. Try and do some damage from behind. Let's get our men to follow us again. Oh my god, we have people flanking from behind us. That's not good at all. Let's see if we can take them out here. How did they get in behind us? They must have like gone all the way around. We've dealt with the flank though, me and the horsemen over here. 
and we've still maintained our eye um, we've still maintained our formation I don't know where the other men are they're running let's get our men to charge here Where have they gone? Okay, there's there's only a small Charge! amount of men remaining. Oh, look, here's one. Let's make sure we uh, shoot him. Oh, he's dead. So we gained another 2.7 renown, 2.5 influence as well, which is going to help when we want those castles. And once again, we got a ton of stuff. A Sturgia Cavalry Helmet. Oh my god, that looks really good. It's actually better than my own helmet as well. It looks really fancy. And some splint boots as well. Okay, let's grab the rest of the stuff. We can actually also give our follower a good helmet too. I'm going to put another point into pole arms so we can level that up faster. Let's see where the army's heading off to now because I don't know if we're going to lay siege to something. I do believe someone's giving me food though because I've got four days until no food. We're besieging this same castle once again. Your army is dispersed. Oh, really? So you just dispersed the army. Great. Thanks, mate. We're going to have to follow them out of this enemy territory then. Okay, I'm kind of low on food now, so I want to um, go and get some food, ideally. All right, so our next plan of action is to head over here to um, the Empire, because we want to go and sell them all the crap that we found. I don't think any armies are really going to come after us, so we should be absolutely fine to do this. Oh, okay, he's created another army. Right, well, we can go back there, but we need to buy some more supplies first. Um, quickly. Oh, and there's a tournament, so maybe we can win the tournament. So if we win this tournament, I believe we can become his vessel, which will be very good for us. So let's go ahead and trade all the crap we don't need right now. Cause okay, so we're going to get 4,426 gold. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and buy um, some grain. Okay, so let's now join this tournament so he can get even more renown and then we'll be able to ask to become his vessel and then all the castles we take are going to be insanely good. So, right. <laughs> Starting off with a 4v4. Get Rex on. Look at that. Boom. Take that javelin to your face, brother. Oh, yeah, look at that. Boom. Get wrecked. Right in his back. Love it. You won't get past me, man. There we go. He's dead. What do you think you're doing, brother? Stop shooting at my man. Oh, he dodged that spear last second. Let's see if we can help him out. Oh, he's dead anyway. Perfect. There's just one man on horseback left. Let's actually grab a shield. That's going to be a lot better to defend ourselves with. Definitely would have rather spawned with a shield and some javelin, which I have no throwing ability with. We'll get there eventually, guys. Come on. Don't run past me. Ah, oh, get wrecked. My god, this guy's armor is insane. Okay, finally he's dead. I guess this... Oh, it's Mantius. Is he not one of the kings? I'm pretty sure... Oh, one sec. Mantios is a vessel of the Northern Empire. He's like super famous. He's like really skilled as well in combat. Got 200 pole arm skill. Okay, no wonder he's like super heavily armored. He's got like some of the best armor in the game. Oh, I forgot to bet on the tournament. Okay, well, we'll bet on this round anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and join. It's uh, four versus four. And I have a sword and shield. Wow, he's taken a lot, man. Look at that. I kind of want to get him back in my back. Get Rex up. We just cheese him like this. There we go. Aha! Andros! Oh, he's another famous person who we've just defeated there. <laughs> We're killing all the nobles. So we have um, one Sturgeon soldier has made it into the final round. I'm going to bet some more money I'm going to join this tournament though. Try and get in front of my man here. Get Rex up. You're dead. Come on, try and shoot my shield. Well done. Because I have a shield, it's like a massive advantage. Oh, get Rex. 
Okay, he's dead. Fantastic. So we go into the next round, and who are we going to battle? Andros. Great. He has, like, the best armor. Let's go and bet the full amount again and join in. All right, Andros. It's just you and me, brother. I find running around to the right side is actually, like, really beneficial because you're on their shield side, so they really struggle to hit you. And I can just go ham on him, but he can't really do it like that because I'm just behind his shield, like so. Oh, we just clash swords. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. 1v1. Easy, mate. Okay, so we win. We get free renown, bone crusher, and we get 1,200 from bets because I forgot to bet in the first round, obviously. So there we go. Nice one. Now, to be honest, bone crusher is not really very good, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. And I've got 15 grain. I think that's probably enough to head back to the battle now. And if I check my uh, clan quickly, I have clan tier 2, which means we can now become a vessel. <laughs> yes! So we can finally start to get some uh, thiefdoms and whatnot. So let's go to the tavern district and choose who we're going to get rid of. Sturgeon veteran bowman, we're going to keep him, and the veteran warriors, because they're really hard to train up yourself, so if you can just recruit them from the prisoners into your party, it's a lot better. We can also upgrade some of our troops to veteran infantryman. All right, there we go. So we make quite a bit of money, and we've paid for the cost of upgrading them. You'll also notice Devon the fish is currently in the tavern, so we could have a chat with him as well. See... If you have some decent recruitable abilities. My name's Danny. Tell me about yourself. It's not many who asked that question. I was a farmer, but I split a man's head open with a hoe. He was a, also a farmer. Yeah, it was a dispute over a broken fence. Jesus Christ, you were triggered, weren't you? Between my pasture and his, and I had no intention of killing him. Yeah, sure. His cousins came for me, came to take me to judgment. I would have gone willingly. I would have paid the blood money gladly. But one of them laid hands on me and black as rage came over me and I killed them too. I didn't want to kill them either. Well, life's going great for you. That was, uh, that was that. I could pay the blood money for one man, but not free. I fled and cannot return. Sounds like you had no choice though. A man who cannot muster his rage is a greater threat than a man who murders with intent. Yes, that's true, but um, sounds like you had no choice. If the choice had been mine, I would have never hurt anyone. I would live in my land, eat what I had grown, marry and have children. But the heavens had decreed that I should eat by shedding another man's blood, and the city's rich men pay me well for that. Okay, so how much do you want? Okay, 672 gold. Let's actually recruit him anyway. Um, and see kind of what his skills are, because I honestly don't remember him from the character menu being any good or really notable. Um, so let's have a quick look at our party and see where he is. Davan the fish, here we go. Okay, as you can see, he's pretty much crap at everything, but he does have a good scouting skill. He's probably one of the cheapest scouts you can hire in the game, but we've already got someone who's scouting for our party. So I'm going to go ahead and reload the save we just did. All right, so our next plan of action, guys, is to head back into the enemy territory. Maybe we're going to pick on some caravans, but I kind of want to find out where his army went to. Apparently, the army passed by this village recently. Aha, there is Sigur. So the army can't be too far away, really. We can also raid villages now, so um, maybe that would be fun to do, actually. But all these villages have been raided recently. Aha, there is... The enemy's army. Okay, that's good to know. We obviously don't want anything to do with them right now. Ah, Vartin is over here. We can actually engage this person in combat. Let's see if we can actually engage them here. This is going to be funny. We're going to, like, stop. Oh, my God. We're going to, like, split them in between the army if we can. I don't know if I'll be able to beat him. He has a slightly bigger speed. Okay, we're going to catch him up here. Surely. He's running towards the army. I should be able to catch him and hopefully I'll get some backup here. Here we go. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace, at least until I find out who you are. I'm Danny. I am Vash Hawkeye, a chieftain of the Sturgeon. I'm always looking for good fighters. If you ask around about me, I suspect you'll be told I take good care of my men. We're evenly matched. I kind of want to fight him. You know we're at war. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight you. I don't care. Yield or fight. Very well. Expect no mercy. <laughs> I'm a savage. A savage. Let's attack him. Alright, let's After tell them to follow me. me. 
We only have a few men, but we should be able to destroy them. Can't see the enemies right now. Okay, here's, here comes some enemies. Give them hell! Follow me! Right, follow me. Don't, don't uh, go after these poor boys. Right, that horse is dead. Perfect. Right, charge in, boys. Let's shoot them in the back. Come on, brothers, kill them. Are they running? They're running! We've routed them! How did I miss that? Bring them down, brothers. Don't let them escape. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Get Rex up. No one will mess with me. I am ESO, the Widowmaker. Ah! Aha! Enemies are fleeing. You have won the battle. I'm very well aware that I've won, but I want to make sure my enemy also knows that. <laughs> 6.8 renown. 5.9 influence and 3.9 morale. Wow. We are doing very well for ourselves. Holy moly. I, we are at your mercy. You are my prisoner now. I am at your mercy. <laughs> That's right. I don't care if you didn't want to fight. Um, Alright, let's hire all their good boys, like the veteran warriors. Holy moly. We got a lot of money from this. And we also got a bunch of armor as well. Is there anything really good in here though? A heavy lance. This is actually very decent. So I think Aldric is the best person to join here. Um, and we're going to ask him if we can become his vessel. Danny, it's been a while. So what is it then? There's something I'd like to discuss. My lord, I wish to be more than a mercenary. Is there any way I could pledge myself as a vessel? You would need to talk to the leader, Dirthheart, at this matter. He is currently in Conard. Oh god, so we've got to walk all the way over there. Then I will talk to him. So just to show you guys... He is on the other side of the map currently, so I'll probably cut this part out of the video, but we'll venture over there. Right, so I ended up traveling all the way over here on the map, and we have now found our boy Death Earth. Death Earth, leader of the Valadian army, and next episode, we will ask him if we can become his vessel. We can carry his wishes to his enemies. You can find the next episode linked down below in the description and the previous episodes also linked below if you missed those for some reason. But guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to carry on with this Let's Play. I've just been doing like two videos a day, one guide, one Let's Play, and pumping them out so you guys can watch it and consume this content because you will love it as much as I do. And to be honest, I've not been sleeping because I've been so excited in playing this game. It's ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support on Patreon and everything else just being here to watch this content guys like it means the world to me like seriously like you guys enjoy this so i appreciate it i really do have a great day and goodbye